little sister. They're gonna get better, you know that? And me and mom are gonna be right here with you. Hi. Hey. How's she doing? Elizabeth make a tough decision. That transplant saved my sister's life. Well, that's a good thought to hang on to. Is your mother around? No, no, she should be back soon, though. Uh, Michael, I, I need to warn you about something. Are you aware that your mother is on a list of possible suspects in Jake's accident? Yeah. Okay, well, Lucky just found out, and he didn't take it well. He's very angry, and that's understandable, and uh, I'm afraid that he might show up here and try and dump some of that anger on your mother. I want both of you to see it for what it is, a father who's grieving and desperate, and it's not personal. Okay, but uh, my mom really doesn't need Lucky yelling at her right I now. understand that, believe me. That's why I'm here. He's not in his right mind. So... Don't engage. Don't fight back. Just, just understand where it's coming from. People do strange things when they're grieving. I'm telling you, if you fight with him, you're only going to make it worse. I'm not the one that hit Jake. The police can prove it. It's great, Mom. Oh, I can't tell you how relieved I am. Yeah. Uh, did the cops check your car? Yes, they, um, they found Jake's DNA on another car. I, uh, I don't know where my car is. I guess the police still have it. What are you doing here? Are you <laughs> back for another visit? You know me, I can never get enough family. <laughs> Thinking maybe you're here to give me another warning or something. Well, I do take care of my own, niece. I'm really, really relieved and glad that you're out from under this. And I'm very happy that Jocelyn's doing so well. You've been through a lot, and I'm very sorry. I didn't mean to add any stress to the situation. No, you were, um, you know, trying to take care of me, and that's not really easy for you. So I'm grateful. Thank you. to blame yourself for any part of this. I don't want to think about the accident or who's responsible, and I don't want you worrying about me, okay? Just you know what, you know, whatever happens, I'm going to protect you and Jocelyn. Dr. Renfro, call 64. I'm so proud of you. I am. You're such a wonderful kid, you know that? Thanks, Mom. And Jocelyn's going to be great, and I'm just yeah. so happy because you've been by my side through all of this. I'm sorry, is it okay that I'm here right now? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Come on in. How's uh, Jocelyn? She's good. She's good. It's, it's still early, but there's no sign she's rejecting the kidney. And uh, my mom didn't hit Jake. Thank God. I mean, yeah. I must be so relieved. You know what? I really don't know how to feel right now, to be honest. I mean, Joss gets to live because Jason's son died, and if my mom did it, I was going to cover it up. I, I took my mom's car and ran into a wall. I don't know. Uh agree with your method there, but I understand your impulse to protect your mom. Yeah, I mean... What about Jason, though? Hey, I mean, look, I, have a seat. He, 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 he sent himself to Pentonville to make sure that I was safe, and... I mean... My whole life, he's looked out for me. And now his son died, and I was gonna cover it up. I mean... Well, look, wouldn't Jason have done the same thing for you? I mean, I don't know him that well, but hasn't Jason always covered up for you and your mom? Yeah, he always has. Well, then I don't think that he would judge you for doing what you did. 
I was visiting Jocelyn, and they, they got her drugged up, so she, she, she can't hurt herself, but she smiled still when she saw me. Mm. And she, she reached up, and I can tell that she's trying to touch my face. And she has no idea what's going on, and I really wish that I didn't either. Steve um, Weber, Jake's uncle, was talking to me today, and he, and he looked at me, and he said that <sighs> I remind him of what Jake would look like if he was older. And I thought to myself, why am I the lucky one? I, I, I was in a coma. Why did I wake up? Why is Jake gone and I'm here? And how am I supposed to make it mean something? Be glad you're alive. It sounds so simple, but for some people, it's next to impossible. Just don't be one of them. Find out what matters and hang on to it. Tell you what matters to me. to think that that's that's uh that's not why I, no, I know i i don't i just i'd still like you to stay i really want to be with you abby and i think about it all the time i just i'm uh, i'm a little i'm a little nervous still do you it. trust me yeah of course more than anyone then there's no reason to be nervous yeah, look i'm i'm uh, I'm HIV negative. I had a test a month ago. Thank you for telling me. I'm HIV negative too. Yeah. I feel like an idiot right now. No, no, no. For, for what? Being responsible and, and considerate? You just gave me one more reason to want to be with you. No, yeah, Abby, I just don't want you to feel like you have to sleep with me because you feel sorry for me. I don't feel sorry for you. I think you are beautiful, inside and out. And I love the way I feel when we're together.